Hello guys and welcome back to Rafflin Island. It's day five of midsummer. And I know that uh, last video I think I mentioned that I probably wouldn't be back here until late summer. But uh, things have uh, progressed fairly well uh, since yesterday. See we've got our grass uh, coming back quite nicely. And I kind of forgot about the production that we have on the map. Uh, that's right, Rathlin Island does have some production going on. Uh, we've got the greenhouses fired up now, and uh, they are ready to, uh, to take a load over to the uh, mainland. And then uh, when we took the second load of milk over to uh, the dairy uh, yesterday, I saw that we had um, four pallets of milk and four pallets of cheese all ready to go. Uh, to their respective uh, end destinations. So I thought uh, we'd come in today and uh, just kind of do a little bit of production pallet work, moving some things around, selling some stuff. And to that end, uh, we have replaced the trailer that we had with the next size up. And I got the wonderful wood grain bed on this one. So we'll be able to hold some more um, pallets. And then I can put, if I need to, I can put some round bale uh, stanchions on the, on the back in the front of this but to help with round bale moving. Also picked up a pallet fork. And it's pretty cool. I like how I can hook up the rear weight and have that in a high position and then hook up the trailer here. So that was pretty cool. I liked, uh, liked that because otherwise I'd have to have the weight up here and then those two would be kind of interfering with each other. So, let's go ahead and head on down to our greenhouses. Because uh, we got a call from the uh, fruit and veg ag dealer. And uh, they are ready to accept our, our first load of, uh, of vegetables and fruits. So we've got a pallet of um, tomatoes, we've got a pallet of strawberries, a pallet of red cabbage, and also of mushrooms to uh, take down to them. And then, like I said, we've got four full pallets of homogenized milk and four full pallets of cheese over at the dairy to, uh, to also take. Uh, the homogenized milk goes to the um, uh, the milk dealer, which is, uh, well, I honestly can't remember the name of the milk dealer. And then the cheese goes to our, uh, the mainland's grocery store. So uh, that's pretty cool. Then I just started thinking, we don't have a grocery store here on the island, so... So whatever these guys, whatever the folks here on the island need, uh, beyond what they can grow themselves, or uh, or kind of buy, you know, homegrown farmers market type stuff, they've got to go across the ferry to uh, to pick up their goods or pick up their groceries. That's a a heck of a deal there. So it does seem that uh, the production on these pallets is is such that we get about a pallet a day out of these things on five times speed, and I think that is outstanding. Um, I guess it probably would be a pallet a day at any time speed, but uh, I think that's great. You know, some of these some of these factory mods. They uh, they output at such a rate that if you play at anything other than one time speed, you know it's it's like uh, all you're doing is babysitting the pallets and the production. And uh, what good is that? A road up through here. 
Get our potatoes across the road there. Guess we're just gonna roll on up here and uh, drop our trailer off. Up out. See if we can't add some weights. Rear there. I did notice that we can also add a uh, a trailer hitch to the rear weight. That's pretty cool, but uh, it's the wrong type of hitch. We need a ball hitch for this trailer, so that wouldn't work out too good. Do we think we have any capability of picking this up first person? All right, now let's see here. How are we as far as weight goes? A little light in the beer. So let's go ahead and add some more plates to this. Might as well just go ahead and fill that whole suite out of plates. That's, that's better. Uh, we don't want it tipping, tipping forward on us. So what that means for production is that uh, we could probably come out here once a day and um, and take a load of of these uh, fruits and veggies down to the uh, to the dealer across the mainland or uh, you know save them up over a course of uh, several days and then just take a big load down there every so often You know, it really doesn't make sense, I don't think, to wait on a great demand. Oh, uh oh, whoa, what happened there? Had some funky physics going on there, buddy. Anyway, it doesn't really make sense to me to wait for a great demand on these, uh, on these products. Because the fact that they are fairly perishable. You know, your 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 strawberries are not going to last uh, forever, and holding a whole bunch of pallets of strawberries back for the equivalent of a couple months of game time is a little on the uh, a little on the far fetched side. You know. You would be taking these things to market as soon as you had um, a marketable quantity. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, with that, you know, it doesn't make much sense to wait more than a day or two, um, you know, until you have two or three pallets of, of finished good. Some things like <clears throat> maybe these mushrooms, if uh, if they were stored in a a cool, moist area, they probably would would fare a lot better than maybe the strawberries would. I'm just thinking about when we buy strawberries at the uh, at the store ourselves. Those darn things. If they're not eaten up in the like 48 hours from buying them, they are pretty much done for uh, for consumption. 
now. It's quite frustrating. Because they look perfectly fine in the store. Then within 24 hours of getting them home, they are starting to not look so hot. I think it's a good thing that I up upselled the trailer here. Even though we can put six pallets of wool on that old trailer, uh, we're not going to get four pallets of of these products on that old trailer. Yeah, we would be good to get. Uh, it would be good to get three on that old trailer without uh, without it really overhanging too much. As it stands, four pallets are going to pretty much fill this trailer up. Same holds with the production of the dairy. Now that was, that's really ramped down. When we dropped off the milk, second load of milk he actually still had product from the uh, from the first load that we took down there several days ago get the weights off but you may ask where do the weights go taking weight off and then we go across the uh, river across the sound sorry and add weight where are the weights going because they're not showing up in the cab anywhere. Huh. That's a little, a little wonky. I have to say, I took a, uh, I did take four um, pallets over to the uh, cell point earlier today off camera just to uh, to get the stock that that I had saved up out of here and the last set of straps on um, the last set of straps on that trailer also did the same big uh, big box thing there where they, they extended out quite a bit I'm wondering if it maybe is that uh, that cabbage pallet Maybe somehow has maybe it's that cabbage pallet has some type of uh, big collision on it or, or some type of maybe the XML on that is not quite well defined uh, that's causing the straps to think that it's, it's a lot wider than it is it does look kind of weird did earlier today actually or maybe it was yesterday uh, late yesterday afternoon we did get the ferment bunker fermentation uh, complete message uh, so we have opened up our BGA bunker and have uh, have fed the, the uh, BGA a few few loads of silage at this point I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna augment the uh, silage with hay bales until uh, until all the hay bales are used up, and then we'll be uh, selling the bale storage simply because we don't need it down there at the BGA. And at that point, we're probably going to augment our silage with uh, manure to continue to get some amount of uh, manure bonus. Because that sure does seem to uh, to get us about 20% more uh, for at least a few hours. Seems that if oops, wrong button. It's like if I don't turn off the tractor, um, 
I will have uh, the tractor will slide around on the on the bed of this uh, ferry. I don't know if it's. I know the ferry has a locking uh, script component, so I don't know if maybe it's the uh, if the tractor is running, if somehow it disengages, or is supposed to disengage the locking script. Also hoping that we'll be able to uh, unload this trailer. Um, seem to have issues with the ferry here and auto load trailers. Now we didn't auto load this trailer, so it'll be interesting to see if I can just drive off or not. Um, when I brought the first load over here, I had auto loaded trailer, but I had unloaded it to the to the trailer and put the straps on and then I pulled onto the ferry and everything was fine but I couldn't drive off the ferry until I actually engaged auto load again um which was strange so see how it works this time around Slow, slow ride across the sound here. I mean, you've got, if you're, if you've got the clock cranked, this, uh, this drive across the sound can seriously chew up the time. Let's see, can we back up? Oh. It's, uh, the pallets. And now we can, uh, now we can back it up. still was held for some weird reason even though we were way uh, way off the ferry let's see if we can't unload it now yeah see now look weird things happen with this ferry and um, an auto load even though we didn't use the auto load it still seems to uh, have an effect somehow Maybe that's just a uh, a byproduct of the autoload capability, as opposed to actually engaging and disengaging the autoload. Because this is the first load I have ever hauled with this trailer, and so basically all I did was buy the trailer, bring it across the uh, sound, and uh, pull it up to the farm, and then start recording. Well. In doing that, I obviously never engaged auto load. So, kind of weird thing. Go in the building here. Open up the door. That door.
they sell. Run back in here and be nice and shut this roll gate. Over here. Open that door so we can get out. thousand dollars for uh, four pallets of fruit and vegetable not too bad when you figure all it cost us was uh, the manure that we bought and close that gate up that roll door and let's sit over here head over here to our dairy and uh, see what we can earn as far as milk and cheese is concerned I can see if you had a big time dairy. Oh no, we. Hit. I could see if uh, if we had a big time dairy operation, how uh, you know the production speed of the dairy here would be really frustrating, um, because it's fairly slow. But that's why. Uh, you also have the capability of um, of selling straight up milk to the uh, to the dealer. You're not tied to using um, this production capability. Let's drop that there. Now, we've got five pallets on the conveyors here. These back four are full. And the other pallet is uh, still being loaded. could use auto load for this and uh, quite honestly after this video I probably will do auto load for these going forward simply for uh, for a matter of saving time but for the purpose of some type of uh, storyline we're gonna load these up manually at least this time When, uh, when I thought about when I think about raffling though I really don't think about this production so uh, it really doesn't come across as a production type map but it does have some basic elements of production that will that if you are doing a cow, um, cattle operation uh, you can definitely have a little bit of uh, of other things to do other than just um, the farming. And we took the uh, we took the storyline approach that uh, this was in some way a uh, a dairy cooperative where you bring um, you bring your raw milk to the dairy and Oh, it's got the shakes. We better. Let's not uh, not lose it like we did that uh, strawberry pallet. Bring them the raw milk, and they'll produce some finished goods for you. And in the act of producing the finished goods, um, they will take, I guess, a profit share of what you earn off of the finished goods. So, 
Oh, I guess I could have put the trailer a little further away. A little snug here. Basically, we need to come back to this dairy about every five game days. Uh, pick up our finished products. We're going to need to, with our four greenhouses, we're going to need to come across here a bit more frequent. If we waited five game days, we would have uh, 20 pallets of... Uh, a product to bring over Which itself would be rather profitable Put that down These straps the straps fit perfect on those pallets Just stick these on the back. Might be easier to do it that way. Can I extend this manually? Or nope. You hook up to our trailer real quick. Extend that rear deck. Then we can hook up a we can put that other pallet on there. that deck out a little bit. I think we'll still be able to get the uh, strap on the front edge of the pallet. Hold it on. Still wish the uh, when you extended this trailer back Still, it would still be nice if um, let's barely hold it. Still be nice, I think, if uh, if it gave you the ability to put a strap back there. putting something back there does seem to take a bit of weight off of the uh, off the front noticed as we were putting the uh, pallet on there our uh, front of the trailer was starting to creep up a little bit so what we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cheese to the grocery store. 
Mercer, which is right here. Driving on the other side of the road, but that will help us swing in these wide turns here. Back up. Guess maybe the trigger is a little high. We got it working. Guess we weren't quite in the delivery zone, so the uh, the uh, stock boys at the market didn't know that we were back here. Take our cheese. Uh, there we go. Strap that one back down. There we are. That trigger is a little sensitive, I guess. here and we're going to come over here to our dairy area atrium dairies Let's get out we have farm milk then we have pasteurized milk That's where we need to bring it. Got it on the front of the trailer. I don't see us getting that uh, trailer backed in there. Let's, uh, that. Take the straps off. I guess we're gonna unload this the old fashioned way. Good, uh, oh, we're going to need to get that one strap off. We could probably have backed the trailer up and did a uh, an auto load to the rear. An auto unload to the rear. That would have probably also worked. This won't take too long. While we're unloading here, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video. A little bit different than uh, some of the other Rathlin videos we've done. $1,600 for that pallet. Not bad. We had money for uh, for processed milk. All we had to do was uh, kind of wait. For the uh, for the dairy to do its job. If you're not a subscriber, please think about hitting that subscribe button, and then you can get notifications of future content. Do let's play videos here on Rathlin Island, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Then we also do map videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, typically. And uh, we've been doing some, a little bit more live streaming than uh, than typical. Uh, for a long time, we bas I basically just live streamed on Mondays and Wednesdays. 
but uh, as of late, I've been doing some four live streams uh, throughout the week on uh, on some multiplayer maps. We're doing uh, an economy multiplayer type setup. We're using the MP Manager app, tablet app, by LS Mod Company, and then. Um, Doing a uh, live stream series on Emerald Coast. That map should be out uh, by the time this video airs. That is a a fun map uh, that is representative representative of uh, southern U.S., uh, specifically Florida. Go ahead, and we'll just. Uh, Close this up. And not a bad little today payday here. Let's take a look. See how we did. So almost thirty thousand dollars in cheese and fruits and vegetables and uh, milk. And we've earned fifteen thousand dollars in our biogas, so we're up uh, almost forty thousand dollars on the day. So I also encourage you to go check out the guys in my description. They also put out uh, farm sim content. Pretty good farm sim content, if you ask me. They do. Uh, they do have a different. Several of them have a different play style than what I'm doing. So that would uh, possibly interest you if uh, you're looking for something a little bit different. Go check them out. And until next time, happy farming.